Hi, I'm Zach Neese. I wrote Call Your Name. This song really thematically is a sister song to God of My Days. It just has a little bit younger vibe, a little bit smoother. But I was in a very similar place in life when I was writing it. I was just needing to have an expression of faith to vocalize to God. We're in the middle of a transition, a move, new job. We've gone through a lot of stress and some uh, relational issues and all kinds of things going on in our family. And it was a very trying time. We were struggling. I was trying to write this song. It was just a statement of faith. Regardless of what's happened in my life, I know that if I call you, you come and you're near me. You're never very far from me. And, and that you can, you can fix any situation that I get into because you're powerful. In the midst of writing this song, I went through several rewrites and I'd bring them to my wife. You know, we'd be sitting around in, uh, in our uh, apartment at night because at the time we were kind of between homes and, and I'd sing songs to him and she'd say, Zach, that's really pretty, but uh, it's just too poetic. You know, it's, it sounds nice, but there's none of the heart of what you're trying to get at. And the truth was this song needed to be a little bit raw. It just needs to be a little bit, uh, it needs to be real. What I was communicating is something real. I can really relate to this, and people can really relate to this. Sometimes we feel like we're just surrounded by trouble, and all we see around us is waves. Can we still fix our eyes on God? And sometimes we feel like the walls are falling down around us, and can we still believe that God can support us? We feel like nothing's going our way, and is it true that the blood of Jesus can really make a way for us? And that's what the song's about. The song's about the fact that in the midst of whatever's going on in my life, I have a God that I can have faith in. And this is a statement of faith. Call your name, and I believe that you hear me, and I believe that you're near me. This bridge, we're about to sing the name of Jesus. One of the things as a worship leader that's been frustrating to me is a lot of times we sing songs that say, uh, I will worship, I'm going to worship, I will praise, I'm going to praise. And by the end of the song, you're still going, so when are we going to do this? When are we going to praise God? When are we going to worship Him? And in this song, I wanted to make a statement of faith, but there needed to be a release. We needed to actually go to the point where we did it. And the bridge is the culmination of, of everything else that's happening in this song. We're actually calling out the name of Jesus in faith, knowing that He can come when we call His name. And His name is powerful. And He can do anything. All the songs that I've written on this recording, they're simple songs. They can be done with a piano, they can be done with a guitar, and they work just as well in a setting with a small worship team as they do with a, a big team like we had here on the evening of the recording. A lot of times, we just need to get into a, a time of intimacy with the Lord, and, and sometimes the best way to do that is to take a song like this or the um, Buster Jar song and break it down, just do it simply, do it from the heart. And the great thing is a lot of the songs in this recording translate. They don't have to be done with a whole lot of production and dynamics. You can just do it with a small group. And it works. Come.